Hi, this is Luis Martin Domingo, and on this video, I will try to introduce you a research paper titled Airport Service Quality Using Twitter. It was presented in Antwerp in July 2017. The main ingredients used for this airport service quality paper are the uh, AACI ASQ. ACI stands for the Airport Council International, Airport uh, Association, which runs an airport service quality scheme, which, uh, as we can see here, tries to measure how passengers are being served. On this paper, we'll try to use Twitter to try to measure something similar. Ready? Let's go. So one of the problems is that this airport service quality scheme, which is being run by airports and is being organized by airport association, uh, lacks a degree of independence. At the same time, this is not possible for research community to access to the data. So for these two main reasons, uh, something else was looking into. At the same time, they were looking into some trends of the industry. And in 2015, 85% of uh, air passengers, they were traveling with a smartphone. Uh, when looking at the time people are using, I mean, where people are using that uh, time spent on smartphones while connected to the internet, one third of the time is being used in social networks, such as Twitter, Facebook, and so on. So, we can see that there is a large number of people using a smartphone and using uh, social media. Looking at those trends, the objective of this paper is to try if we can listen to those communications between the passengers while using Twitter and the airport in order to measure airport service quality. The methodology used for this research is uh, download, I mean, we download uh, up to 35,000 tweets from Heathrow account, and which we last uh, in almost two months. It was done in May, uh, around May 2016, end of April, beginning of June. And we used uh, a tool, Tweet Archiver, uh, produced by controlq.org. Taking into account the scheme of the ACI ASQ scheme with uh, a number of processes and a number of attributes, 34 in particular, we try to look from a Twitter point of view in order to match. So we use that as a reference and we try to replicate uh, as much as possible. In this replication process, uh, we had to try to find uh, each tweet to which category they belong, and we use keywords in order to uh, allocate those tweets into the right uh, processes and attributes, and we found up to 4,300, so around 10% of the total. Then, using sentiment analysis uh, software, we uh, process those tweets in order to find out whether those were positive tweets, negative tweets, or neutral tweets. We use the tool They Say, which is a, a, a tool developed by some um, Oxford University uh, professors in partnership with a private company. But we wanted to know whether this tool it was performing well. So, in order to do that, we compare these uh, processes with this tool together with the manual handling. So then we uh, took a sample and we evaluate manually a number of tweets in order to compare the performance. And we found out that the, up to 80% of those tweets were well uh, processed, so they were doing a correct processing, and 20% were not doing correctly. We did together with another tool as well, and in this second tool, the performance was up to 70%. So we can say that as a starting point, 80% it seems not too bad starting point. When we look into the this twenty percent of tweets which uh, the tool did fail to do the right sentiment analysis, we found four reasons. One was when the tweets were in a were written in a sarcastic way. 
uh, when it's 28%. Second, it was when tweets include the, the word uh, queue or queuing as the tool take it as a neutral word when in the airport context has a negative meaning. Third, was a combination of sarcastic and queuing. And fourth, it was some other reasons. If we can look at one example of a tweet uh, using sarcastic and queuing, this could be done. It's the passenger says, well done, Heathrow Airport, for bringing queues back to my life. A mile walk to border control, then 1,000 people in a queue. Vote Gatwick. So this is an example of the tweet which can fail into this category. One of the advantages of looking at the keywords and tweets is like we can measure how many people are talking about certain things. So this uh, tree map represents the, the processes. So how many passengers are uh, talking about facilities, passport, weight, and so on. And we can see that facilities is the, ha, comes on the first position and way funding on the last one. So facilities is thought to be more important that we find in for passengers. Same with the uh, keywords such as gate, which appears in that uh, number of times. Then if we look at attributes, we can have some examples. Again, uh, ground transport was found in 13% of the tweets uh, and passport control in 12. If we go to the other end, uh, shopping or w uh, WC was mentioned in 1% of the tweets, so it can be thought to be less relevant uh, for those passengers and something in between was parking with a 4%. And to finish, uh, one of the aim was to measure quality and based on those positive and negative comments, we could extract uh, the quality results. Uh, we have a green column for the uh, positive comments, the average of those positive comments, and a uh, red color for the average negative comments. I mean, can be assumed that in the places where this green part is much bigger than the uh, red part, those areas have a higher quality, that in those areas where the blue, the sorry, the green and the red are very similar, and in some cases, the red is even uh, higher, which could be people, passports, waiting, and uh, airport access. Those qualities, when looking at attributes and taking some examples again, we have here uh, four examples, Wi-Fi, security, WC, uh, food and beverage, where there is a clear uh, higher positive average uh, versus the negative, which would means that there is a positive or a good quality, uh, versus those other uh, attributes such as ground transport, uh, parking, and stuff, where uh, in some cases the red bar is higher. So we can conclude that Twitter is a tool that can be used to listen conversations between the airport and the passenger to find out airport service quality. Sentiment analysis tools seems to be working uh, well and could be even further developed with some training. Uh, keywords has been working well in order to allocate the different tweets into different airport processes and attributes. And last but not least, this approach allows researchers to do some uh, access to uh, airport service quality and what is also important not only for researchers but for the airports is to have a system an approach which is good value for money taking into account that to carry on research and questionnaires can be long and costly to end up i would like to highlight a couple of limitations which is that the passenger profile of those passengers using Twitter, of course, is not a full representation of all the passengers traveling through an airport, in this case Heathrow. And second limitation is like we have used a single airport, and ideally this approach should be used for a number of airports. At the moment we are collecting data, and hopefully soon we will be able to do some analysis with a, a larger sample of airports. Thank you very much. 
And don't hesitate to drop me a tweet if you have any question. Bye.